Hello guys. When the going gets tough, the tough gets going. Hi guys, welcome to your channel. My name is Karan and in today's video, I will touch base on a very sensitive topic which is called job loss. Well, I know uh, our identity is our job. Yeah, because uh, because that's the way it is. Let's accept the fact if I am not making money, I it will be very difficult for me to manage my life, my family's lifestyle. And many people have gone into depression. They have committed suicides. But guys, we have to understand tough time never lasts, but tough people do. OK, so we have to be a bit calculative and we have to plan. In life, just like we have a risk of an accident, there is a risk of job loss as well. Today only I have seen a very major corporation is about to fire 11,000 employees. Twitter just fired 3,000 uh, employees. They, they sacked their CEO. So losing job is just um, bad luck. I don't know, uh, but it could happen to anyone. So in this video, guys, I just want to touch base what to do. OK, when you have lost your job and first of all, don't stress. OK, every time will pass. This too shall pass. So there are some quick checks uh, which you should definitely do if you have lost your job. So guys, first is that uh, what about your loans, your home loans, your car loans, uh, your personal loans? Well, if there is no income coming in, life becomes really miserable. We all know that and we have never thought about it. Actually, we uh, we take our job for granted, but it is it is a fact, guys. It is a fact. And I really want to request you guys not to waste your money on unnecessary luxuries, foreign travel, because we live in a very uncertain world. Please save more as much as possible and make your family understand the importance of saving. If they put pressure on you, you have to set some rules. Guys, we have to tell them I live in a world of uncertainty. Losing a job is not because of my performance, guys. It could have it could be because of a company company having losses. It could be because of wars. It could be because of inflation. It could be because of any damn thing. Government changes, government policies. It is not your performance. OK, so till the time we are in an uncertain world, please save more. OK, coming back to the agenda, because I get very, 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 very emotional when I talk about these things. OK, so what we have to do, how will you manage your home loans, car loans, personal loans? Guys, please talk to your bank, request them and make them understand your situation. Can they give you some uh, moratorium, maybe some some leeway for a few months? I think few banks will understand, few might not understand. If you have some savings, give them, but you have to talk to them. You have to convince them, show them the uh, pink slip. Tell, assure them that you are looking for a new job. Ask for some, uh, uh, some buffer time. Try to negotiate with them because we are all humans. Even the banker is a human being. Go talk. Don't assume that they will not help you. OK, so that is how you will manage your home loans. Uh, now let's talk about your um, regular uh, investments which you are doing. Let's say you are investing in mutual funds, SIPs, or uh, you have your insurance payments. So guys, uh, if you can afford, if you can afford, do not stop your SIPs, do not stop paying your uh, health insurance premium or uh, your uh, term insurance premium if your pocket allows if you have sufficient savings let your mutual fund sips continue let your rds continue and, and be hopeful that you will get a new job you will get new income your business will kick start if it is if it is your business because guys business is unpredictable we all know that if you are a small business owner, you own a shop, then you, you know that what I'm saying, you have to pay um, 
say rentals, income, government taxes, a lot of lot of other things. I don't have to tell you that. So it will bounce back. Stay steady, pray, stay steady, look for opportunities. You will get it. Okay, okay. So that's about your EMIs, uh, your SIPs. Let's talk about if you are staying in a rented accommodation. You have to pay rents. If it is not a challenge, you have savings, go ahead. Otherwise, negotiate guys. Tell your landlord your problem. He's also human. He might understand. He might give you a buffer of a month or a two months. Or maybe you can ask him if you can adjust it with my advanced rent. At least talk. Do not assume. Over here, I want to, what I have learned in sales is that ask for the order. Most of the time, a sale is not done because the salesman never asked for the order. He will give a presentation, but he will not ask, should I pack this product for you? Should I give it home delivered? Similarly, guys, ask. Ask for some help, some support, your landlord, your banker. They will help you. They will. We are all humans. Be honest. Be honest. Tell them it's a temporary situation. If you can adjust with my advance or uh, give me a buffer or let me give you half rent this month. Maybe I, I'll give you more next month. Something of that sort. Do it. It is no problem because all of us go through different problems in our lives. Okay, so uh, I have covered three major points. If you think you have any more obligations, tuition fees, uh, maybe anything else, think any, any other obligation you have, maybe a marriage is coming up, maybe you have to give some gifts or anything. Ask, talk, share your problem, ask for some additional time, but be honest guys. This is not to make fun or don't fool other people because they will know how genuine you are. Are you coming up with that excuses every now and then? No, that is a big no guys. Okay. So I don't know how relevant this video is for you, but for me, it is a very sensitive topic because I don't want anyone should go through this, but unfortunately I am reading news every day that people are losing their jobs and uh, I, I don't know how they will manage. So guys, don't lose heart. My prayers are with all of you. And I'm sure God is watching. He will do something good for us. He will not let his children suffer. Okay. Great guys. So have a great week ahead. I love you. Uh, you take care. You do well. Uh, pray and um, stay strong this too shall pass okay guys take care bye